Hey there, it's Anna. I'm planting a couple hanging baskets today and I wanted to just share with you what I'm doing. So these hanging baskets are completely designed to bring in the hummingbirds. I have had so much fun the last couple years with hummingbirds coming up to my upstairs patio and just enjoying the plants there. Um, I have a little bit of a hummingbird feeder, but I thought, you know, it'd be amazing to just hassle really plant hanging baskets. Um, for the hummingbird. So I've got two hanging baskets I'm doing today. One is gonna be really simple, and then one is a little bit more um, intricate with a few more things. So let me turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you what I'm putting in each basket, and then I will um, put them together. Okay. So the first one, it's almost a little bit of like a red, white, and blue kind of theme, kind of unintentional, but if you're going for hummingbirds, you just have to plant a lot of red flowers. So I have this hummingbird lunch kufia probably the number one hummingbird plant. Like if you want hummingbirds in your garden, plant this guy. They absolutely love it. I had one of these last year. It brought in so many hummingbirds, so much more than any of my other flowers. So I'm gonna do one kufia, just a little vinca hanging down because that's fun. Everything needs to be watered right now. It got really dry last night. Um, just a little breathless blush euphorbia just to kind of fill in and just add a little something This is like the main hanging basket up by my um, patio area. So I just wanted it to be really extra decorative I found this gorgeous. Oh, let me be really gentle with it this really gorgeous gorgeous um, Fuchsia and it's called Gewürztraminer Garden, garden, garden Meister. Wait, no, that's the, isn't there a wine that's something like this? But this is um, Garten Meister. Anyways, it looked like a perfect hummingbird plant, right? I mean, oh my gosh, I think hummingbirds always like fuchsia, but this one in particular just seemed to scream hummingbird to me. And I also thought it was just really pretty shape for a hanging basket. And then petunias are another good hummingbird flower. Um, so this one is so fun. I love this look, uh, what is it called? Brilliant Blooms Night Sky. Yeah, super fun. So I didn't even really intentionally realize I'd get that kind of red, white, and blue look, but I think that's also always, you know, that's fun in the summer too. So that's gonna be one hanging basket. And then over here, I'm gonna do another one that is just gonna be just kufia, doing two kufia, and then two vinca to really just bring in those hummingbirds. Um, so that's that. Okay, so here's the first hanging basket. I used it last season, so it's looking a little bit rougher, um, but it'll be just fine. And then I also saw this tip to put a little bit of um, compost in your hanging basket to kind of um, just add a little bit of like something to your container. So I just put a little bit of potting soil or um, compost in there. I'm gonna fill the rest with potting soil. Sorry if there's like wind or extra noise in this video. Um, it's getting warm out, so everyone's got their air conditioners on. So let me get some potting soil in here. All right, just a little potting soil. And now let's try to squeeze all these plants in here. This is definitely going to be a jam-packed container for sure. I will be doing a lot of fertilizing, like a weekly fertilizer, especially packing a container this full of plants. They're going to need a lot of um, fertilizer and they're also going to need a lot of water this is the only problem with the hay um, hay rack looking you know cocoa fiber lined hanging baskets is that like they do really need a lot um, a lot of watering and then last three or four pounds I'm just gonna fill in potting soil. I kind of
kind of tried, I don't know if you can see, I kind of tried to angle the plants out over the sides so that they'll all kind of still and get like a really nice bushy look going over the sides. Everything looks a little small right now and I'm trying intentionally not to overpack my baskets. I don't want, um, you know, everything to be so jam packed, especially when I'm planting this early in the season. Okay, but here we go. Already spilling and beautiful. And once it just takes off, I know it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I will definitely do some updates as we go along in the season so you can kind of see how these containers turn out. I'm gonna go grab the other container and put that one together. All right, so here's my second container. It's a little bit smaller. Um, I think it's 10 inches across. I'm gonna put a little bit of compost in the bottom. I got this tip uh, for the compost from Gardening with Creekside. They have a beautiful nursery and do a lot of these kind of containers. So I figure they know what they're doing. And it makes sense that like once the plant grows, it can get down and, and reach that um, level. Okay, here we go. And then I just have the four plants for this one, just the vinca. Minka. And then my two hummingbird lunch kuvias. That name really says it all, right? That's what we're going for, hummingbird lunch. right now but it will definitely become stunning oh my gosh I'm covered in dirt it'll be stunning by the end of the season thank you so so much for watching I'll talk to you in the next video bye bye